In this video, we're going to learn how to use metric templates in Big Eye to further fine tune your data observability setup. First, we'll do a quick recap of what a Big Eye metric is and why you use that to monitor your data. Then we'll go through how you can leverage existing Big Eye predefined metrics and customize them further. Then we will talk about why and in which conditions would you want to leverage metric templates. And then lastly, we will go over how to configure metric templates. So quick recap on what a Big Eye metric is. So in this particular case, I have some e-commerce demo data. I'm looking in my orders table and I want to know in my orders table, what is the average value of price per unit over time? You can see in this graph, we are computing these values at different times as you configure it. It tells you here, uh, right here, it runs every 24 hours. Uh, and we look at the past two days worth of data based on the order timestamp, uh, and then we aggregate it daily. The gray bounds are our machine learning driven anomaly detection system, which takes a look at all the historical data and figures out what appropriate bounds there are. And when it drops below that, that is when we get issues. If we look at the edit dialog, you may want to uh, customize this metric a little bit further. Maybe you only want to know, for example, that product category just has to be retail. You know, that's all I care about in this particular metric. Or maybe I want to do a dimensional level analysis, which I can choose right here. Or maybe I want to look at this, you know, over seven days, so weekly uh, versus just over two days. All these configurations can be done here, as well as our thresholds can be either, again, machine learning driven, or you can be as simple as, I just want to make sure that my average price is never exceeding 100 or vice versa, never dropping below 20. And you can do all of that directly within predefined metrics. And the value here is that you get everything out of the box. Big Eye generates the metric query, which is run against your database automatically and against any of the data sources that we support today. Now, in certain cases, you may have the need to further define what the rule is that you want to check. This is very useful if your business is uh, data quality rules are today defined in SQL, and you just want to import those into Big Eye, or you just have uh, particularly fine-tuned data where you need the rules to be very uh, consistent. So, how do we how do we do this? Let's look at this query uh, that we are displaying that uh, Big Eye is automatically generating. The structure of this query is fairly consistent across. We are running some sort of metric query, which is our observed value. This is what you see on the chart itself, the observed value. Then, of course, we're pulling in the timestamp so that we can draw this on the time series chart and train our machine learning models on it. We're pulling it from whatever particular table you've defined, in our case, orders. And we're doing some windowing logic. Uh, as you recall, within the configuration, I can define how, many, how far to look back and how to bucket things. Uh, and that's how the queries are built out. Now, Maybe you have a particular need to define a template where uh, you just want to check a particular condition that we don't support out of the box. So how do we do this? We go new template. I select which source I want to leverage. I'm gonna say template one here. Uh, you'll see there's two uh, options here, Boolean or number. And this really depends on whether you want to check a particular condition or you want to create a custom calculation. Going back to our query structures, if you say, I want to know how many times is my rule true. So if that's the uh, case that you have, then we would pick Boolean. You can use temp uh, templatized parameters here. So I'll say call name. And I want to make sure that this call is less than two. Uh, or in addition, I can also create another parameter here. Uh, and I can say this should be a number and create template. Let's go ahead and go back to Prada Warehouse, our orders uh, table. And I'm gonna go ahead, add metrics, all metrics. And now you'll see that it shows up in my list. So I can say template one, um, and I want to uh, configure everything here. Now you'll see it here again, there's two different types of aggregations you can do. And this depends on whether you want to check how many times is your rule true, 
or how often is your rule true? And the way we change the metric query automatically here is in this case, we're going to sum up based on when your metric template is true. And that will be our observed value for the metric. Or in the case of percent, we will actually divide this by the count itself. And that will become the observed value. So you can choose that aggregation here. You can define the actual rule. Maybe you want to make sure it's less than five. And then you can choose your column name here. The rest of the workflow is exactly the same as you would have with any other big eye metric. There's no other differences. And now this metric will get created as new observed values come in, or if you backfill the metric, new machine learning models will be trained on it. Now that's how you would create a Boolean template. Now let's say you wanted to say, are there any statistical variations on my custom calculations? In which case we're actually defining some sort of rule uh, that does some custom calculation, and then we're going to put some aggregation on it. The workflow for this, again, is fairly similar. We go to custom monitoring, templates, new template. We're going to choose prod warehouse. I'll call this one template two. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose number instead of Boolean. And I will say something like, I want to take my column and I'm going to multiply it by 10. And then I want to check uh, what's going on with it. So I'll go ahead and create a template. We'll go back to our warehouse and back to our orders table and add metrics. And go ahead and pick template two this time. Click next. And again, you can control the type of aggregations that you want to do on it. So maybe you want to check the average result of this calculation, min, max, or summation itself. And going again back to our temp uh, query structure, the aggregation that you pick will show up here, your rule will show up here, and that will become the observed value of this metric. So we will go ahead and pick uh, any numerical column here, so price per unit, uh, say next, and then again everything else is exactly the same as you've seen in predefined metrics or other metrics as well. And that's where you'll start to see this. And if I go ahead to the debug tab, you will see that because I chose average and then it templatized my uh, rule. And from here, uh, everything else is handled by Big Eye automatically. So again, your predefined metrics uh, are all available out of box. There's 70 plus in Big Eye. You can create a lot of customization directly out of the box in the UI as well as you can create metric templates, which takes it one step further.